While wet conditions were common during planting in much of the growing season, most Louisiana farmers were surprised by the yields of the state's major agronomic crops. The only crop that saw significantly lower yields was sugarcane, which is expected to see yields off by nearly 10 percent. The yield for 2021 is forecasted at 30.5 net tons per acre, and that's down almost three tons per acre from the 2020 crop. DiLiberto said corn yields equaled last year's, but the crop increased by more than 80,000 acres. Corn growers also benefited from better prices. The average price for corn is forecasted at $5.45 per bushel. That's up from the $4.50 some odd cent price we had last season. Soybean yields were good, but growers saw a price increase on average of more than 12 percent. Rice farmers saw slightly better yields along with slightly better prices. Cotton prices saw the biggest jump in terms of price, breaking 90 cents. And that's the highest price we've seen since 2011. The run up in the futures market has really been brought on by specul speculative buying by the funds and as well as increased export sales predominantly to China. Farmers will see much higher input costs, with much of the increase being for fuel and fertilizer. DiLiberto is optimistic strong commodity prices will help offset the increased expenses. So even though we can't offset that entire run up in fuel price volatility or fertilizer price volatility, the market is offering an opportunity to at least get somewhat aggressive in booking new crop sales for 22 delivery. DiLiberto expects a smaller corn crop next year because of its high fertilizer needs, with cotton acres taking over much of the reduced corn acres. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.